Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving magnetic induction. Now, if you haven't done so already, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field at a point in space 12 centimetres from a long straight wire that is carrying a current of 9.0 amps. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to calculate B, the magnetic induction. We know that mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 henrys per metre from the data sheet. I, the current, is 9 amps, and the perpendicular distance R from the wire is 12 centimetres, which is the same as 0.12 metres. So writing down our equation, we have B equals mu naught I over 2 pi R, and substituting in the numbers gives us 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 9.0 divided by 2 pi times 0.12. And putting that into your calculator should give you a final answer of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. Lastly, question 2 says a straight length of copper wire carries a current of 3.0 amps. Calculate the perpendicular distance from the wire where the magnetic induction will be 20 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the perpendicular distance R away from the wire. We know the magnetic induction B or magnetic flux density is 20 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. We know that mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 henrys per metre from the data sheet. And lastly, the current I is 3.0 amps. So writing down our equation, we have B equals mu naught I over 2 pi R. We can now substitute in our numbers to get 20 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 3 divided by 2 pi R. And what we can do to get R in its own is cross multiply or take R up to the top on this left hand side and then replace it with this number down the bottom. So we end up with R equals 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 3.0 divided by 2 pi times 20 times 10 to the minus 6. And putting this all into your calculator should give you a final answer of 0.03 meters. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.